Did you see a bright yellow and black bird and wonder what it was? This video is for you. There are many birds with yellow and black plumage or yellow and black and white plumage. In this video, I'll show you some yellow and black birds that will come to your feeder. And then we'll also look at yellow and black birds that you're likely to see in fields, in woodlands, and in marshes. I want to help you figure out what bird you saw. Let's get started with the birds at your feeder. American goldfinches summer from coast to coast, from southern Canada to the northern two-thirds of the United States. Males are bright yellow with black cap, wing, and tail. Females and young birds in fall lack the dark cap and are a bit duller green. They love black oil sunflower seeds at your feeder. You may have American goldfinches at your feeder in winter too, but they molt into a dull brown plumage and you may not even recognize them. Lesser goldfinches stay bright yellow all year with a green or black back, but they live only in the west from Washington State to California and to Texas. Lawrence's goldfinches prefer drier chaparral foothills in California in summer. They winter in Southern California and sometimes in the desert of Southern Arizona. Males are gray with a black face and yellow breast. Both genders have black wings and yellow wing bars. Evening grosbeaks are large finches common in flocks at feeders in winter. Look for them in mixed woods year round across Canada and the northern tier of states. They are also common in mountain pine forests throughout the west. Males have smoky brown heads with yellow forehead, back, and undertail. They have large white patches on their black wings. Females are similar but grayer. Listen for their loud, piercing calls as flocks fly over. Tanagers and orioles are only present in the United States in summer, but they can be conspicuous migrants in spring. Their bright colors really stand out against the new leaves that are just appearing on trees in April and May. This is a great time of year to try to attract orioles and tanagers to your feeder with orange slices, grape jelly, and nectar feeders. Or just look for them in your flowering trees. In the west, western tanagers really stand out in migration. They summer quite high up in conifer trees, so they're a bit harder to see then. The males are bright yellow with black wings and tail. They are colored much like American goldfinches, but much larger. Adult males have reddish orange faces. Females can be dull gray or rather bright yellow green with dark green wings. Their eastern counterpart is the scarlet tanager. Summer males are deep red with black wings and tail. But females and fall males are bright yellow with black or dark olive wings. The male orchard oriole is chestnut orange, but females and first year males are yellow with black wings. First year males also show a black bib on the throat. They summer throughout the east. Hooded orioles are common from California to Texas. Adult males are yellow or yellow-orange with a black throat, back, wings, and tail. Females are yellow with dark wings. First year males are similar to females but have a black throat. Several other species of orioles have males that are colored orange and black, the females yellow, green, and olive. The male Audubon's oriole in South Texas is yellow with a black hood, back, and tail. In the deserts of the Southwest, the Scots oriole spends the summer. Both genders are bright yellow. The male has a black hood, black back, and black tail and black wings edged in white. Females are very similar, but have less extensive black. To see meadowlarks, you need to go to farm country, pastures, and grasslands. Western meadowlarks are in the west. They have bright yellow breast with black necklace. They have a long, melodious song. And that's good because they look very similar to eastern meadowlarks and overlap in the southern Great Plains. In the east are the eastern meadowlarks, again yellow below with a black necklace. They sing a couple of simple whistled notes. To complicate matters, the eastern meadowlarks living in the New Mexico area 
have recently been declared a new species, the Chihuahuan meadowlark. Again, the best way and perhaps only way to identify these is by their song. Next, let's visit the marshes. The big, noisy, yellow-headed blackbirds live in cattail marshes. They winter in Mexico and along the lower Colorado River in the U.S. In summer, they breed throughout the West, into Western Canada and into the Midwest. Males are black with white wing patches and a completely yellow head and breast. Females are dark brown with a yellow bib. The small but noisy common yellow throat summers throughout North America. They are green above, yellow below, and males have a black mask. There are actually many warblers in North America that are green and yellow with some black on the head. They live in a variety of habitats and eat insects. They arrive in spring and depart at the end of summer. Here are a couple of the most likely to be seen, the ones with the most yellow and black. Townsend's warblers breed in the Pacific Northwest and to Alaska. They winter along the West Coast. They are green above and yellow below. They have a black face patch and black streaks on the breast. The male has a black throat. Wilson's warblers are bright yellow below and yellow green above. Males have a black cap, smaller on the female. They summer across Canada to Alaska and on the West Coast. They are common migrants in April and May and September, October throughout the entire United States. They like lowlands and dense willow thickets. Was the bird you saw covered here? Let me know in the comments. You may read a slightly more in-depth article on black and yellow birds in my blog. The link is in the description. And thank you so much for watching.